Hi, my name is Mackenzie Grable and I'm from Sunnyside, Washington. I came to Hungry Generation by my mom forcing me to come, like I didn't have an option. When uh, about four years ago, I gave my life to Christ um, at a different church, but I wasn't really close to God. Like I didn't really like try to get close. It was, I only went to church because we had to go to church. Um, a few years later, like about two or three years later, um, someone close to my life was very abusive to my mom and I'm very protective over my mom so I would get angry because I was like really small and I couldn't do anything to help her so I'd get really angry and I would just cry in my room and I would stay there and try to ignore like whatever's going on down there. So I would go, so after a few years that close person was removed from my life and Things were looking better after that, but then a year ago, uh, it started getting worse again. I felt, I was like mad at God, like I was praying to Him and He wasn't answering me and I was just angry at Him, like why aren't you answering my prayers, why aren't you listening to me, why haven't you been here for me, I pray to you and you're still not here. Um, so I felt alone and isolated and it caused depression. and. I was sad for like no reason. I felt alone and no one to talk to. And I had friends, but I couldn't talk to them. And it just got really bad to points where I had suicidal thoughts and I wanted to die. And I attempted twice, but I didn't want to die. Like I wanted to, but I was afraid of death because I didn't know where I would go. Um, I had anger issues, and the only way that I could release that was through self-harm, so I used to cut myself, and it was bad, and my friend, she used to be like, don't cut, and I'm like, it's the only way that I can release the pain, and I had no one to talk to, so it's the only way I felt that I could release it. Um, after that, I started, um, my mom took me to church and on a Wednesday service, it was very awkward at first because I didn't know what was going on and everyone was praying out loud and I was like, oh, why are you guys doing that? <laughs> um, but then after service and the worship started up again, I went to the front and it was different and it, I could feel the Holy Spirit and I was, it was just peace, like it was happiness and it felt nice so, and I felt like God was telling me to rededicate my life because I've been, I've faded away and so I gave my life to Jesus. I don't have depression anymore, I don't cut, I haven't self-harmed in a long time. Um, I, my anger issues, they went down, I rarely get angry now <laughs> um, and it's been a lot happier. Like I feel like I can talk to people now and I'm more open and I want to get baptized today for I can take a step closer in my relationship with God. Mackenzie, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. <laughs> Based on your faith, confession and your commitment will baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit.